Adventurers Club greets you once again. Its members are drawn from the four corners of the earth by a common bond, adventure and good sportsmanship. At this meeting, we find them welcoming a soldierly-looking man, white of hair but straight as a fighting blade, while his fine dark eyes glow with youthful enthusiasm. Lord Dunlop, English gentleman and late of His Majesty's forces. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, our distinguished guest, Lord Dunlop, is going to honor us by joining our membership. <laughs> well, we're happy to have you with us, sir. I understand you've seen a great deal of army service in India. My word, yes. After years of mucking in the Khyber and countless other horrible places, I rather think that I have seen practically everything there is to see. <laughs> Splendid, sir. We have all heard of your courage and daring. Can we prevail upon you to relate some incident in your past? Some colorful adventure that stands out above all others in your memory. Well, let me see. One that stands out above all others. Uh, yes, I think I have one for you, gentlemen. Good. Let's have it. But we shall have to turn back the pages of time somewhat. Before soldiering in India was carried out in such a, shall we say, efficient manner. <laughs> well, England certainly must have had a terrific time in gaining a foothold in India. In gaining it and holding it, my friend. However, at the time of my story, we were stationed in Khyber Pass, that famous gateway into Afghanistan. Khyber Pass? All sorts of stories come from there. A bleak sort of place, stark and gloomy. And at that time, infested with bandits, whose sole aim in life seemed to be getting the blood of an Englishman. <laughs> During this siege, they almost succeeded. Our camp was entirely surrounded by them. They had cut off our water supply. Then, to hasten our surrender, they succeeded in poisoning what little water we had on hand. It's cut. It was most disconcerting. But there was nothing much to do about it. We had to act quickly because valuable maps and papers were in camp, and we knew that the enemy wanted them. We decided on a plan of campaign and then held a sort of last supper in celebration, using what little wine we had left for toasts and such. Orderly, I bring in the last of the wine. Yes, sir. Well, gentlemen, we have eaten good food and are about to partake of excellent wine. Uh, Most excellent wine, Major Drummond, but the last wine in the world for us. Oh, come now, Dunlop. What better way to die than for king and country? Those bandits think that we will die here like rats in a trap, but instead, we shall attack them, first firing the camp to make sure that nothing remains. I couldn't ask a better death, sir, than to go down fighting. Ah, oh, that's the proper spirit. Uh, but at the moment, it seems a bit hard. This dinner, the wine, reminds me of London. Some gay gathering, in Mayfair perhaps. Beautiful ladies, flowers, soft music. And uh, sweet water, sir. Don't forget the water. Oh, uh, what is it, Dobbs? If you please, sir, Raman is outside wanting to speak with you. Says he's going to save us. What? Save us? That's what he says, sir. The why he has hopes, I don't know. What with them bloodthirsty blokes all over the hills are drinking of our water? Bring Raman in immediately. Uh, yes, sir. This chap has always been an enigma to me. A Hindu of high caste, he has one of the keenest military brains I've ever seen. And yet there are times when he's a complete stranger to me. I wonder what he meant by saying that he could save us. He isn't given to talking idly. Hardly. Oh, but here's Raman himself. Uh, you wanted to see me? Yes, I... I think that I can help you. I have been working for an hour. Working, old boy? What do you mean? You know our plans. We shall attack the bandits just before sundown. And that won't be long. It's five now. I hardly think it will be necessary to attack the enemy. How so? It is very simple, Sai. Knowing what you were planning to do, I decided to help in every way that I could. Hoping that English troops might be in quick riding distance of Khyber Pass, 
I tried to contact them. Contact them? Who? What? Uh, gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please. Raman. Do you mean thought transference? The white side is wise in the ways of the east. If there are troops near enough, they will come. I have sent for them. You have never erred in judgment, Raman. I have great faith in you, but this almost seems impossible. I feel that they will come in time. And with your permission, I shall withdraw to this corner by the window, overlooking Khyber Pass, and send my thoughts out. How? He's balmy, sir. That's what he is. Let him alone. Oh, where's that wine? Here, sir. And the last bottle, too. All ready. Well, let us make the most of it, gentlemen. The sun will soon touch the hills, and then... For king and country. And now for those at home, a song. Ah, an excellent idea. What shall it be? Old Lang Syne. Old Lang Syne. <laughs> My daughter used to sing that for me. I can see her now. Tall, fair-haired. She would be proud of you. <laughs> Stout fellow, she used to call you. Raman Fair gives me the shiver, sir. He's staring over Khyber like he expects all the king's horses and all the king's men at any minute. Don't worry about Raman, Dobbs. Go and see that the men are fit. Give the signal to get everything in readiness. Plenty of ammunition. See to it that the camp is ready to fire before we leave it. Yes, sir. Ah, bravely sung, gentlemen. But now, there's work to be done. Soon we shall leave the barracks for the last time. And Ramin? The sun will soon set. We must attack before nightfall, before our morale is weakened by thirst. Better not to wait. Best to hurry such affairs. As you say, sir. Yes. And now, gentlemen, I give you the King Emperor. The King, the King Emperor! Emperor. Wine is gone. The glass is shattered. And now we're ready. There will be no goodbyes. The song, the last drink, it is enough. But if there is a heaven for gallant gentlemen, we shall drink together once again. And then the glasses shall remain whole. Major Drummond Saib, but a little longer. A little longer. We must attack before darkness, Robin. We haven't much time. I have contacted them. I have contacted uh, them. Uh, Everything's ready, sir. Uh, the men are waiting listen, for your command. Listen. I hear nothing. What's he listening for now, sir? Angel Ops? Please, I pray of you. Listen. All right. Just a moment, gentlemen. To please him. By the gods! It is the cavalry! Gentlemen, we are saved! Reinforcements are come! Strike me, Pink! Look from this window, sir! Cavalry it is! And the bandits are scattering like mice! And we're dying! We're dying! Good heavens, what astounding luck! Yes. Was it just luck that brought your cavalry to Khyber Pass at that particular time, Lord Dunlop? A very strange coincidence brought them, gentlemen. Seems that they were returning to our base from some special dispatch duty. And about four o'clock that afternoon, the captain's horse took a bad spill and fell in such a way as to break his rider's leg. Four o'clock? Well, that makes it about the time that Raman said he started concentrating on obtaining reinforcements. Yes, exactly. <laughs> to continue to the base was impossible. And as they were not far from Khyber Pass, his men decided to leave him with us and then go on to the home base. The bandits saw them approaching, took it for granted that we had got word to them in some way, and fled. Yeah, but you don't think that Raman's thought waves had anything to do with that horse falling, do you? <laughs> well... 
odd that the beast should fall at the identical time that Ramin fastened his strange eyes on the distant horizon and sent his thoughts out, out. Oh, 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 no, you don't. <laughs> You'll have me believing in that, too, if you're not careful. <laughs> A compliment, Lord Dunlop. <laughs> Mr. Jones is our most prominent skeptic. Yes. Oh, From Missouri. I don't mind a bit of ripping, but if you had been there, I wager that you'd have been ready to bank everything you owned on Ramin, the mystic, when that faint bugle call sounded in the deepening dusk of Khyber. Khyber Pass, gateway to adventure and almost to death for that intrepid band of Englishmen. Join us again at the next meeting and listen to another strange adventure in a strange land. <laughs>